Hi everyone, welcome to the world of Logitech and Microsoft Teams. I'm Craig Ishii, Solutions Marketing with Logitech, and today we're gonna to walk you through the ins and outs of making the most of your meeting room experience. So whether you're looking to book a room, hop into an ad hoc meeting, or just make your conference room meetings better, we're gonna cover all of that today. So ready to start? Let's go. Okay, so let's start at the beginning. You're in the office, you need to book a room, and you can do this through Outlook and Teams by simply adding the room to the meeting invitation that appears on the calendar. Or you can also go up to the TAP scheduler to book ad hoc. And so if you look at the screen of the TAP scheduler, you can see I've got the schedule of meetings for this room displayed, but I can also reserve this meeting room directly from the touchscreen interface. I just click reserve, specify a few details, and then after a brief moment, the room has been reserved for me. Next, let's go into the meeting room itself so that we can join the meeting and use the functionality offered by Logitech and Microsoft Teams. So as I sit down, we're gonna have this device at the table. So let's take a close look at the TAP meeting controller sitting right here. Now, there's a couple of options to start and join meetings. Quick note, all of these options should be very familiar to you as they're generally similar to how you start and join meetings on your laptop and other devices. And so first, you're gonna select the meet button if you are starting an ad hoc meeting from scratch. But if you're joining an existing meeting and you've reserved the meeting to this room, that meeting is gonna appear right here on the schedule area on the left-hand side of the interface. You're just gonna press join and you'll be taken to that meeting. Now, if you happen to hop into this room because it's free, but you didn't have a chance to schedule the meeting to the room beforehand, you can also use the join by meeting ID function where you just need to input the meeting ID and password right here into the tab. Okay, so you've joined the meeting. Let's talk through a few of the options provided right here on the tap to amp up your communication and productivity. First, let's talk through camera modes in Teams. By selecting the drop down next to the camera icon on the tap, you're gonna be given three different camera modes. The active speaker mode will provide a single view of the active speaker. So as the speaker changes, the camera is gonna automatically change focus from person to person. Now there's also room view, which is gonna frame everyone in the room. And so the camera will only shift as individuals on the edges move to new positions. And finally, there's composite view. And this is really one of my favorites. The camera is gonna split out up to four individuals in the room into separate gallery images. And then of course, when you have more than four individuals, the camera is gonna pick up the active speakers and replace those who have stopped speaking. Now. Finally, let's also talk through gallery modes in Teams, and this is how it looks on the display in back of me. If you click the gallery icon on the bottom section of the tab, you can see we've got two options. Gallery view is the standard that we're used to seeing, but I also wanna point out front row. Front row will bring the images of the participants to the bottom of the screen so you can keep them at eye level. And it's especially helpful when someone's presenting content. So you can see we've got the slide above, we've got our individuals below. So you'll see that this is an option for you. And then finally, you'll also see there's a toggle to show the chat on or off on the screen. Okay, let's also talk about content sharing. We're gonna press the share icon on the bottom of the tab, and you'll see that there's gonna be a couple options for us here. First, I wanna talk about wired HDMI sharing. In some cases, the room is gonna have an HDMI cable at the table, and you're just gonna to need to plug in this cable into your computer, and then you'll be sharing your screen. Now, there's also an option on the tap to share your audio as well. Now, another option, if you happen to have your laptop in the room, is of course to just join the meeting from your laptop. Just make sure that you're muted and your audio is off. And then from there, you're gonna be able to share content in the same way that you would share if you were meeting virtually. Now, if you're in a larger room, I wanna talk about this device, Logitech Site. And it's gonna be sitting right at the center of the table. And the great part, is that it's gonna be sending two simultaneous camera feeds from both this camera, as well as the camera that's at the front of the room. We call that front and center. And you really don't have to do anything. You just have to make sure you're in active speaker view. And what this does is it helps to ensure that all the individuals around the table, especially in larger rooms, are seen and heard more clearly during meetings. Now, there's a couple of things to know. First, I wanna talk about muting with sight. There's gonna be a button that's gonna be right here. That's gonna be the mute button for sight and it's gonna allow you to, of course, mute your audio. Note that when this is pressed, you'll also be moved back into the at-a-glance room view. Now, to turn off video, you can either press the video icon at the bottom of the tap screen, 
or you can also use the included cover to just cover the lens of sight. Next, let's talk about Scribe. Scribe is our content camera for physical whiteboards in the room. And so as you're writing on the whiteboard and you need to share it with your audience that isn't physically there, you're just gonna press the purple button that's located next to the whiteboard. Alternatively, you can also press the share button at the bottom of the tab and select content camera. All right, so that is it. It's just a few simple tips and tricks to get you using your conference rooms like a pro. That is the power of Logitech devices and what we call the new logic of work. Hope you enjoy it. Take care.